All right, strawweight fight. Here's the tail of the tape. Jin Yu Fry, the American, 10 years older than Gloria De Paula, but it's the Brazilian two inches taller at five feet five and with a two and a half inch edge in reach. Back inside the octagon once again. Here's Joe Martinez. And all fight fans, we are set to go with the next bout tonight. Three rounds this scheduled in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. She's a freestyle fighter standing five feet, three inches tall. Weighing it officially 115 and one half pounds in 15 professional fights. Her record stands at nine victories with six defeats. Fighting out of Arlington, Texas, here is Jen You Fry. Let's go. And across the octagon, her opponent fighting out of the red corner. A Muay Thai fighter standing five feet, five inches tall. She too weighed in officially 115 and one half pounds and holds a professional record of five victories and two defeats. Finding out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, here is Gloria, Glorinha de Paula. And your referee in charge of the action is Mike Beltran. Shirt and beard tucked in <laughs> from Mike Beltran. <laughs> Wait, he tucks in his beard? <laughs> Mike Belgian has been tucked hitting his beard. He's got to tuck in the beard, man. It's down to his waist if wow, it's not. He's a real one. crazy. Jin Yu Fry, right, ladies, the first underdog round. in this matchup. You ready to fight? You ready to fight? Head up, let's go. And the You're intensity not with cannot be questioned. <laughs> no, That's right. Okay. Simple as that. Howl in the golden. Jin Yu Fry in the blue. Yeah, see, this is where Gloria... Very important by Fry to go there. Really shines. I was going to say the knees and the elbows in the clinch, but a nice takedown for Jin Yu Fry. But you see that preparation, right? That's in the training. They realize that the Paula would go to the Muay Thai clinch, and if you can dig under hooks, you're able to get takedowns in those positions. Great job recognizing that by Jin Yu Fry. Yeah, because Jin has got twice the amount of experience. You know, Gloria is a very, very good prospect. But so far, only seven fights in a professional career, whereas Jin Yu Fry... A record of nine and six, 15 professional fights, number 16 tonight. So, you know, the experience is so valuable in a situation like this. You know, Heidi spoke about this earlier, Mike, about how the Paula wasn't an athlete in anything prior. And at times, when you find yourself in different Look situations, that can be hard to deal with. Let's see how she handles um, some adversity after, you know, not having those losses from wrestling or basketball or soccer or whatever else you may play. Well, we saw there a second ago trying to get the arm bar, right? She was swinging the hips around, trying to get the left leg around the head, trying to get one more time there. And that's all well and good. It's early in the fight. It's the first round. You're, you're still dry. Submissions are, you know, a highly likelihood, higher percentage of being successful. But after a couple of tries, it's time to get back to your feet. She tried to kick her off there, but she's got to get up. She can't let the fight, you know, slip away from her. Especially when she's, when she's the, the better striker. She's yeah. the better striker. But now, Jin's got her back. Nice job. You can connect your legs in the back if you want to stabilize. You can hook your feet Hard to together. drop. A better start for Jin Yu Fry two minutes into this one. Absolutely, Brendan. You want, she wanted to fight on the ground. She wanted to turn this into a grappling competition. Especially with her being on top. Right now, she's in the three-quarter mount, attacking the neck. DePaula has to turn back into her. She can just slide that right leg right back through into the mount position. And now DePaula back into the full guard. You hear Safe Saud in the corner of Jin Yu Fry barking out the instructions. That is, again, a new thing for her for this camp. Went to Fortis MMA in Dallas for 10 weeks previously. I think in her last fight, just her husband was in her corner. Jin's doing a good job of controlling inside the arms, not placing her hands on the mat. She's hands on the shoulder, keeping the hips square, not allowing for DePaula to throw her legs up or create an angle to attack a submission. Great top control so far by Jin Yu Fry. Yeah, fantastic control. But to be honest, DePaula, in her, you know, the younger years of her career, shall we say, she's, she's making a mistake. She's allowing Fry to control her. She's not attempting to get up. She's just looking for submissions. Of course, some subs are great. They end the fight if they're successful. But right now, she's letting this fight slip away. She's staying on her back. She's content to play this game. She needs to push her off, get some separation, and try and get back to the feet. And that starts with her getting her feet on the hips. She's got to start to get her feet on the hips, try to get height over Jin Fry. 
Find the octagon to try to use it also as a barrier to get back up to her feet. She's trying the armbar again. And now she's got an angle, Mike. Now Fry's not as square on it. Oh. Nice, nice damage. On Corks with the left, it tries to land the elbow there. More than three minutes of control time for Fry. That's really nice work, though, by Fry. Just keeping it down there, held the leg, landed a couple of shots, and then went back to the pressure. I mean, right now, she's clearly in control of this fight. So you want to keep her there. You want to do everything you can to keep your opponent down on there. Down on the ground, pardon me. That was a beautiful pass there by Jin Yu Fry. As De Paula tried to create space to push her away, she just kind of followed the hips off to her left, and now she's in a side control. De Paula does have a frame, but she's not using her hands to force Jin back towards her ankles. She's almost accepting full guard. Yeah, so listen, if you're Gloria De Paula, listen, that's rear, round one in the rear view mirror. Yep. Round two, it starts on the feet, but she's got to be wise up the takedown. She's got to move around more. She's got to have some success because this was a big round for Jin Yu Fry. 10-9, you know, maybe even a 10-8 because a lot of control pretty much for the entire round. Yeah, and about four minutes of control time right to the horn for Jin Yu Fry. Round two coming up. Stop! Um Sit down a little. Take some water. Pay attention now. This is what she wants. She wants to take you down. Let's keep our distance a little bit. Just hit her and get out. Hit her and get out. Let's frustrate a little bit. She's trying to hit you. So just keep your hands on her bicep. Just, just let's try to stand up a little more. And keep your distance. His first round was hers. But we need more. Okay? I need you to really work when you're in those positions. I want you looking for the finish. Go, All right? Get up. Go, go, go. Be Let's go. You're ready, babe. Great job. New episodes of UFC Fight Pass original programming just dropped. Check out an all-new UFC watch party as the top UFC athletes check out the UFC 257 main right, card. Ladies, plus UFC round. Chronicles Good covering fight. Tiago Santos' journey Let's back go. to the octagon after a devastating leg injury. It's all only on UFC Fight Pass. Sign up today and start streaming. Second round on the feet, which is exactly what Gloria DePaula needed after all that control time and the takedown by Jin Yu Fry in round one. Tremendous corner work in the corner of Jin Yu Fry by Safe Side saying, listen, you know, you had it down there for four and, a, four and a half minutes. Let's have a sense of urgency. Let's go for the finish, drop some elbows. Of course, you've got to be careful. It's got to be controlled. You don't want to give too much space so they get back up. But, you know, you're trying to get the finish. You don't get paid for overtime. Go to yeah. work. Well, ultimately, she won the round, right? So, like, what she did was a very dominant round and really did lay a foundation and a path for what she needs to do in order to get a victory. If she can get this fight back to the ground, DePaula hasn't shown an ability to get away from her. Yeah, DePaula didn't even come close to getting back to her feet. And that might mess with her psychologically. Although she's doing better here, this will give us some more confidence. Because she's standing, right? Oh, oh nice left hand by Jimmy. Connection Fry. from DePaula. Yeah, see, that's it. I mean, she trains with the legendary shooter box, you know, one of the uh, classic Muay Thai gyms in Brazil. So certainly no stranger to striking. But it's no good when you're on your back. But so far, so good in the second round. This is not where Fry wants to be. She wants this fight on the ground. She needs to get close and try to force Paula into the position that she understands and recognizes, right? When you get close, these Muay Thai athletes want to grab the clinch. They want to grab you by the head. This would let Fry try to get to her takedown again. That was a really fast right high kick by Paula there. Very, very quick. Fry's going to be careful of that. She's going to keep that left hand high. DePaula is a fantastic striker. Yeah, on the contender, you know, she used the knees in the clinch so well. Absolutely punish her opponent in the clinch. Oh, big opportunity there for Fry. But DePaula right back to her feet. See the cut on the bridge of the nose of Fry after one of those punches. Found the home and another right cross on the one-two. 
Yeah, this is a much better round for De Paula. De Paula is a fantastic athlete, man. Mike, look at how quick and explosive she is when she went to that left hook, right hand. Into range, right back in the ring. Oh, yeah, like you that. said, you better be careful. Yeah, really nice. Controlling the center of the octagon. You know, listen, the first round didn't go her way. It's her first fight inside the octagon after the contender. So, you know, maybe some nerves. Of course, she spent the entire round on her back, but second round, she's making up for it. Landing very, very nice straight shots. The one two is money. And as we said, that right high kick, very, very nice. She's got a circle now, though. Got to get off the fence. That, yep, this is what Fry needs to do. Now, the Paula needs to ignore her her first reaction of trying to go to the two-hand. There, right? This is what Fry took her down last time. Notice the difference. Look at the difference in the approach of Fry there. She pushed her away, opposed to digging under her. That was because that knee from the Paula landed very clean. Gets the side of the octagon. Under two minutes to go and a big second round for the Brazilian. Yeah, and the thing that we're seeing with De Paula as well, she has a speed advantage and she has a reach advantage and it's all straight shots. Fry strikes, there's a little bit of arching to them there. You know, there's a little bit of hookish to them. They're not completely straight. Yep. Where De Paula is straight down the pipe, A to B, straight down, and then she just gets away just a little bit, takes a little step back out of the way of the counters. Really nice work. And she's up and down, right? Head's not stationary. She's going up and down, bobbing in her stance. As she enters, she's moving. I'm surprised we haven't seen Fry try and shoot, try and engage a clinch. Of course, got to be careful with a really good Muay Thai fighter like Di Paola. But that's her route to victory here. She's got to go for the takedown. It was clear. I mean, after the first round, it was a very yeah. clear path to victory for her. And she's abandoned that in round number two and seems to be behind Di Paola. There's a look at the significant strikes just in this round two. As you see, Depaula starting to put it together. She's done a good job of distance control and staying out of the range, so that Fry can't shoot the takedown. Yeah, and this is really good because the, it's Depaula now backing up Fry against the fence. And that's exactly where you want to be because if Fry, oh, oh, wait for it. How about that? Good job to keep the feet. Nice balance, nice elbow as well. Really good. I thought she was going down there. Yep, and the problem with this is you, you take round two and you strike with DePaula. Third round, you're more fatigued because you've taken more damage. And how do you go and get that takedown now unless you fall into it? Because DePaula just showed right there that she has a very good understanding of takedown defense. Yeah, absolutely. Like you said, DC, takedowns require a little bit more power. Round three, you're more tired, less likely to hit it. It'll probably come down to round three, which is coming up after this. Good job. Sit down. Breathe and relax. You want water? There you go. Take a drink. Listen to me. Listen to me. You're in fantastic shape. You understand? You're ready for this fight. Look at me. Look at me. I need this fucking round. You hear me? Don't go out there and play a kickboxing match with her. You hear it? Don't go out there. That, that round was close. You're playing a kickboxing match with her. What do we want to do? Take her down. Take her down. Finish her. Fight's done. Take her down. It's there. You're standing around, playing in the A zone. You keep leaning back. You're going to get touched. Okay? Stop leaning back in the A zone. The minute she kicks, the minute she does anything, what? You just blast through, through, through. I need forward pressure here. Head off the center line. I need you to keep corralling her. I need you to, I need you to fucking push. This is it. I need this five minutes. You got it? I need it right now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I need you to push. Twelve seconds up. Mouthpiece in. Gloria. Round three is brought to you by P3, the official protein <laughs> snack of All UFC. Right, so third final round. Good fight. Clear first round for Jin Yu Fry and a clear, I would argue, second round for Gloria De Paula. But with all yeah. that control time on the ground, you don't know 10 8s are possible. Yeah, in that listen, first round. the game plan for Fry in this is, is clearly evident. And we just heard a coach, you know, very, you know, adamantly telling her, listen, you got to get that takedown. You got to go forward. You know, listen, there this is. is only there the is. second Look, fight. This is how of the she night. got the first takedown, Mike. This yeah. is how she got the first takedown. Got to the body. And you, there it is. Beautiful. Beautiful. Listen to her coach. Carried it out perfectly. She's got to be careful here, though. That was nice, Mike, because, again, DePaula started to reach up for the head. Fry, instead of pushing away this time, went into her, got her hands locked, and drug her to the mat. Now it's going to be on DePaula, too. She's got to get rid of this, right? High guard. She's got to get rid of it. Start thinking immediately. Get back to her feet. 
right? Because on the feet, she has a clear advantage. Yeah, that's right. Because, you know, you, you, you train jiu-jitsu, so you think, okay, I'm on my back. They're in my guard. Let's play the jiu-jitsu game. It's like, no, the clock is ticking away. Yes. The clock is your enemy. Get back to your feet right now. You know, you, it's all on this third round. It's probably one round apiece. Yep. And if she stays down, she's lost this fight. Plain well, and simple. But saying that... She's possibility of a Kimura here, yep. but she's got to turn onto her right shoulder. When she gets it, got to lean onto her right shoulder, use her body weight as opposed to strength, and she needs to secure a proper half guard. Or it's a little use, unusual, the positioning right now. Yeah, but even Mikey, using the Kimura to try to get up, right? Using the Kimura to force an action, to force a scramble to try to get back to her feet, because now we're a minute and a half into the round, and you got Jin Fry on top of her again, and that is her winning the round. What's going on though? Jin has got her hands joined together, so therefore, De Paula cannot fully execute the Kimura, so she's doing the right thing, she's defending per uh, perfectly, but, yeah, there's the referee saying, you've got to improve your position, because right now it's a stalemate, if, you know, if, if, Jin isn't going to let go of that no, grasp, no, because she, if she, she does, she could get submitted, and De Paula, well, she's not going to let go of that, she's got a submission attempt locked in. Yeah, but she's in a bad position body-wise in order to finish the submission. So and if you're fried, you want to do that, right? Just get the referee thinking you're doing some sort of work. And she's mounted now. Yep, because she's committing to the Kimura from a bad position. Yeah, she hasn't got it now. She's got to let that go. She's got to get out of mount because as soon as Fry gets that arm back, she's going to use that same arm to elbow her. Right wow. there it is. Whoa, look at and that. And now that takes the pack right away halfway through the third and final round. That's because DePaula tried to finish that Kimura. For oh, oh, rear choke. Oh, Jin Fry's got it under the neck here. She's got to get that second hook in. She's a little high. If you're the Paula, you just raise your hips and start to shake. Try to let Jin you fly, fall over the top of you. Jin's very high. Oh, but that is under the next. Oh, it is under the chin. Not a great angle. Why is the Paula not building her base? She needs to go high with her butt. Yep. Now Jin's got her hips back. Now she survived. That's beautiful by Jin Yufri to recognize it. She was going to lose the position, went back and recovered it, and now she's back on top. But once again, puts herself high. Well, walking her through the third and final round and talking for the last 13 minutes strong. Safe Saud in the corner of Jin Fry. Let's listen. Good, good. Connect your hands, Gable. Connect your hands, Gable, if you can, and rip the face. 136, girl. Back control, beautiful. Nice. To that neck, that's right. Punch, punch, punch there. Good You're body lock. Nice body. Punch, punch, punch nice with the right triangle. hand. Punch, punch, punch with nice the right triangle. hand. Nice. Keep on punching and looking for that short choke underneath. Yeah, just keep the re-pummeling. Keep re-pummeling. Keep re-pummeling on the face. Good. Beautiful keep, position. Keep that nice. The body triangle. Very that's, dominant, Jen. That's great advice there, right? One ten. Right? Jen, one yeah. ten. Continue keep to keep pummel. What he means by continue to pummel is just hand hands. fighting, right? Your as as the Paula tries to fight the hands, she continues to keep keep cross on cross face, move her hands Joe back. Wagner Rocha. Keep attacking. Keep attacking. One under a minute. Back Wagner Rocha. There you go. Good. Keep attacking. You hear him saying keep attacking, Mike. He wants him to just keep he wants her to just keep hand fighting. Yeah. To just keep cross facing, keep clearing. Well keep there it is. There it is. Now it's look. A, it's under the chin. Now she's gonna get the hands together, get the palms together, and then just squeeze with everything. You can she, actually choke here with one arm. If she does that, this fight is over. Look at that. I mean that it's is a deep. One -arm choke, yeah. That is deep. You can choke here without locking your hands, but she's gotta get you see the, the power push on the elbow. Yep. There it is. Now she's she's escaped. Safe. Yep. Nice work. That was so close for Fry. Yeah, so nearly, close to getting the submission victory. Well, she'll come up on nine minutes of ground control time when this thing ends, and exactly what it, she needed to do in the third and final round. When she, she goes back here. and watches this, Brendan, she's going to be very happy about her ability to go get to the position she needed to get to in round number three. She dominated the third round. And Mike, <laughs> could be another 10-8 round, right? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Well, I don't know about that. I don't know. I mean, it well, it figures difference. to be a big night for Jin Yu Fry. Arm extended. We'll get the official decision and the scores when we come back.
UFC fans, one lucky fan, and their guest will have a chance to attend UFC 260 right here at the Apex coming up on March 27th. Go to UFC.com slash best seats for more details and to enter for a chance to win. The entry window closes tomorrow. So get to UFC.com slash best seats right now. Scorecards are in. And for that, here's Joe Martinez. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards, and all three see it the same. 29-28, your winner by unanimous decision from Arlington, Texas, Jim, you fry! What a night for Jin Yu Fry, who gets her hand raised in the UFC, and exactly what she needed to do, Michael, and as we thought, 29-28's across the board. Yeah.